Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dage and today we're gonna create this awesome furry text effect in 2 minutes. I've created this A4 document and I've put two layers here. A text layer and a furry texture layer on top. Let's hold down the control or command key and click once on the text layer's thumbnail. This will create a selection around the text and we can use it to create a mask for the texture layer. So click once on the texture layer and then click this button, add layer mask. Now select the brush tool, then go up here and click that arrow to open the brush preset picker. Click this menu here and select DP brushes. I'll use this brush called DP crackle and then I'll click this button to open the brush panel. Here we can customize this brush as we want. In the brush tip shape, let's decrease the size and I'll set the spacing to around 25%. Now go to the shape dynamics, set the size jitter to 100%, the minimum diameter to 0%, the angle jitter to 40%, the control for the angle jitter to direction, the roundness jitter to 100%, and the minimum roundness to 1%. Now right click on the text layer and select create work path. So a path is now created around each letter. Select the pen tool, Click once on the mask of the texture layer, not on the layer itself, but on its mask, and make sure the foreground color is white. Now go here and right click and select stroke path. Set the tool to brush, turn off simulate pressure, take a deep breath, and hit OK. Now you may think that nothing happened, but if you zoom in, you can see the effect we are achieving. Now select the brush again, make sure the mask is activated, and just hit enter a couple of times. Aha! Now you see it, don't ya? You can also change the brush size, then change some variables here in the shape dynamics, like angle jitter for example, and then select the pen tool and stroke the path again. Select the brush tool, hit enter a couple of times, and that's it. When you finish, select the pen tool and right click, and click delete path. Finally, you can add an inner shadow, play with these variables and hit OK. Awesome. Next, you can put this layer on a background of your choice, add some shadows, and you'll end up with something like that. Awesome, isn't it? Well, before you leave, don't forget to visit my website, 2 Subscribe there by entering your email address so you can receive the latest updates straight to your inbox.